Good morning, everybody. This is Douglas Grant with Neighbors Real Estate Group, and welcome to Neighbors Homes and Communities. We're located this morning at the Bella Vista Fire Department Station 1 in Town Center, and we're joined by Fire Department Battalion Chief Ronnie Cropper. Ronnie, thank you for being with us. So here we are, we're entering fall, cold weather, that means fireplaces. What's the big issue with fireplaces these days? Um, okay, so Bella Vista has a lot of fireplaces. Almost every house here has fireplaces. So we do deal with a lot of flu fires. Um, and the best way to prevent flu fire is to have your, your flu cleaned. Um, we say annually, you know, how to make them out and sweep them through. By a professional. By a professional. Um, and if it's a, you know, ceramic flu, older house, you should have those inspected periodically because they can crack. Um, when moisture gets in there and then the heat, it causes that ceramic to expand and it can crack. So, um, flu fires are, you know, they're not I don't scare anybody, they're not, you know, they don't happen every day or anything like that, but they do happen and they are preventable. So the best way to do it is to keep your flu cleaned and that means actually having it swept periodically, not just burning the, the you know, pure so logs. Right. Um, it's, you do actually have to have it cleaned. Um, and then also, you know, make sure that, that you maintain your, your flu, that it operates, you can open it and close it and that there's not any debris up around uh, the top of your chimney so it's not covered with leaves around your screen. Or, top or nesting chimney. animals. Or nesting animals, yeah, yeah those are your problem. Um, so, you know, and, and if you have any questions about that, you know, feel free to, to call us and we can right. come out. But we don't inspect flus, we're not, you know, qualified to do that, um, but we can't answer any questions you have about your flu. Um, another thing that we've seen in the past is there's a thing called an ash trap in the fireplace. And what it does is when your fireplace gets full of ash, you can open this little door and sweep the ashes into it. What's happened in the past is people have swept ashes that are still hot, so they haven't let their, their fireplace cool down. Um, what we recommend is to let your fireplace completely cool down, take the excess, excess ash out in a bucket, take it outside, put it on the ground, put water on it, make sure it's out, because we get brush fires from you know, people dumping hot ash. Don't throw it in your trash. Don't no, throw it in your trash. Um, but the scary part, and this is something that a lot of people don't realize, um, that ash, it goes into a, a, a room, basically. It's uh, underneath your house in your crawl space, and it's just a concrete area, and it has a door, and you can hire people to come clean those ashes out. And okay. they do need to be cleaned out every so often because that, depending on how much ash you put in there, right. it'll fill up. So when it starts to fill up, moisture gets in it, and it, it kind of cakes together and almost gets hard. It almost turns into like a briquette. So when you scoop hot ashes down in there, what can happen is it can ignite that briquette, that, that chunk of, of ash, and it doesn't burn because it's just ash, but what it does do is it smolders and it creates carbon monoxide. Uh -huh. And we, we have literally gone to homes and walked in and their carbon monoxide reading was you know 300 parts per million or higher, and, and we, you know, spent you know an hour looking for the source of it, and, and it's been the ash trap. So I always check the ash traps now. So don't dump all your ash in the ash trap. It is strictly for after you've taken everything out. There's a little bit of dust and stuff left. You can get a broom and sweep it in there. It's not for while you're burning a fire, scooping ash in there and then you know put more in. So um, I think that's a really important uh, you know point, and I think a lot of people don't realize the hazard of it. Great, great, great information. Get those flues inspected, get your fireplace inspected, and do it before you use it. What's a good phone number for the residents to call here non-emergency if they have a question about fire safety or their smoke detectors, fire extinguishers, anything like that? Sure, and um, our station one number is 855-8249. Um, it's manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So um, if you have an issue if you need to, you know, if you can't get to your smoke detector and change the battery, we're happy to come out and do that for you. Right. Um, we can inspect them for you. Just, just really whatever, whatever you need, we can, we can handle it. Well, Italian Chief Cropper, we thank you very much for being with us today. Folks, we thank you for being with us. Until we meet again, stay safe and remember fire safety 52 weeks a year.